Hi everybody, Judge Gudge here. Uh, just a quick update as to what I've been up to, what I'm up to. Um, <coughs> I did want to do the Deathwing tutorial, but I've not had uh, enough time to sit down in one session and, and do that. Um, and I don't want to rush it. Um, so that's sort of just taking a, a back seat at the moment. Um, I've been doing a little bit of uh, testing of um, Woodland Scenics water effects um, and uh, so, so I've been just messing about with that for a little bit but what on earth am I doing that requires me to be messing around with that stuff? Well that would be this this is the base for a Deathwing Terminator um, that I'm going to do for the um, Help the Heroes charity paint uh, auction. Um, so yeah, so I've been working on this. Uh, I'll just give you a sense of scale. This isn't the Deathwing Terminator that's going to go on it. This is the one that I've got for the uh, tutorial. Um, but I'll just give you a sense of scale. I'm actually waiting for some uh, Dark Angels Veterans pack to come, so I'm getting another set of the uh, Deathwing Terminator legs. So the Terminator I'll produce will be quite similar to this one, but he's going to sit directly on this base. Uh, now as you may have noticed just then, this top section is not actually fitted on so I'll just give you a good look at that um, now this isn't actually fitted on yet because I thought it would be easier to paint the pipe and get the water effects in and everything uh, without it and then uh, once it was all painted up I'll fix that on top but that's roughly what it will what it'll look like. Uh, now one of the other things I've done uh, with this is um, I've uh, harvested some magnets from some uh, geomags thanks to uh, 3000 White Dragons uh, tips um, so I have put some in the uh, in the cork here um, to to magnetise sort of this area of the uh, the base. So uh, I can include a uh, standard base with this uh, um, uh, Terminator, yeah. So, it's, so he's uh, got the display base, but he's also going to have a standard uh, Terminator base as well, just in case whoever does buy him wants to to actually use him rather than just display him. So yeah, so that's what I've been working on, and uh, hope to get that base painted up now, and then when the bits come, get the uh, Terminator actually made up. Uh, I'm undecided whether to paint the Terminator my um, Deathwing scheme, which would be like that, um, or to paint him. that more traditional uh, Deathwing colours um, yeah if it was just for me then uh, obviously I would use my my Deathwing colours um, but as it's for uh, yeah, to be sold I just wonder whether the uh, more traditional colours would be better um, or maybe 
maybe the colours I use would just make it stand out a bit more. I'm not sure to give that some thought. Um, hey, if you, if you have an opinion as to which you think would be better, leave a comment down below. Uh, generally, I think my colour scheme has been fairly well received uh, by people on here, but uh, I'm just wondering about resale, that's all. Yeah, I want to try and get as much for the charity as possible. So, uh, yeah, well, that's what I've been working on. That's what I'm going to get work on. I want to get this finished um, fairly quickly, get it sent off. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, remember, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you later.